Did you go to see Superstar TV while you were at Epcot or at MGM? Did you see where they were trying to show the cue cards of Neil Armstrong? I never thought of it that way. That was a riot. Thank God for, for all the hard work this year. Okay, now Matzo, give the cue cards to Alec. Give the cue cards to Alec. Yeah, just he'll hold them up and it'll be. Hello and welcome to the 1992 Husky Band highlight film and music. Thanks also to the band for all the hard work this year. Thanks also to who without whom the band would collapse and what? Well, I didn't write that. Start the film. Again, it's time to read the meter. Now take a look here. Forget about jet engines. We're getting up close to 120 decibels. That's in the danger of impairment area, which makes another point. As fun fundamentally sound as Nebraska and Washington are, I think more than a level in steam, the level of intensity could make the difference tonight. They got, may have to try a one-man route here to get out of the end zone. Throw, he will be hit, and a safety for Washington, Tommy Smith. There's always going to be one man. One, 
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll leave this on for 30 seconds. Lewis? Yeah. Should I just have a straight fade out or a matrix fade out of the USC? Probably a, a, just a regular fade, yeah, huh? Regular fade fine. 15 seconds left. take a snippet of time warp off of the Cal CD. I'm going to leave this on for about 20 seconds or so. Give you another 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm going to fade out 2, 1 right about now. So fade out the time warp also.
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Darkness of the, or the um, brashness of the light. It's going to be tough in these night photos. And you are free to do with it as you please. I appreciate that. I'll go in. Do you have anyone? I think so too. <laughs> the last person? Me. Oh, Bill is who I think you're going to stop on. Right there. I'm queuing up all these tapes that you guys want to see on here. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, this is go ahead and cut this in at the beginning of the uh, band day stuff in there. Back at Pacific. Four, five. Well, I'd like to uh, congratulate the band again on another great year, and uh, I've, I don't uh, know that uh, we ever get an opportunity uh, to express our feelings about you very often, but uh, uh, you're great. We appreciate what you do for us. Uh, 
during the week on Wednesdays when you come and perform for the team uh, after the game and the you meet us when we uh, when we leave, and you meet us when we come home at all hours, and, and we just appreciate it. And uh, the thing that has always impressed me and amazed me a little bit about the band is uh, how well you guys operate and how good you are with the problems you have with the band record. And I know that uh, that's a real handicap in, in working with Bill, but uh, boy, it's amazing how well you guys can overcome uh, uh, Bill Bissell. And I just want to congratulate you again. Roderick and um, Fred Bueller. What are you still doing here? The, the film's over.
two, three. Hi, I'm glad to add my two cents worth to the celebration of the band. The band is one of the most uh, celebrated aspects of the University of Washington, much beloved by fans and citizens. It's always fun, great spirit. I think my most uh, vivid memory of the band this last year was during that uns... Welcome to Martin Stadium in Pullman, Washington where we have just gotten underway in this 85th meeting between Washington and Washington State. No score, but the Cougars are on the move. And of course the usual uh, excellent display at the Rose Bowl. They're becoming veterans, all of you are, at the, uh, at the Rose Bowl. And we're always proud of you. You represent the university well, on minimal sleep sometimes. But uh, I think your logo is about right, a touch of class. And I might add that it's a touch of class despite the leader of the band, Bill Bissell. Last night they were calling for a slight chance of showers, maybe a little snow flurry, temperature 31, wind chill 13.
Hey, Bill Wiley's on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the head basketball coach at Washington State University, Kelvin Sampson. You know, in all my years as a Pac-10 coach, I think the one thing that I despise most is that Husky basketball band. They're always so loud, and they always get all that Husky spirit rolling, and it always causes my basketball team to be bad. I hate the Husky band. I hate everything they stand for, and I wish that we could get one of those here at Washington State. Certainly one of the best things about being a Husky is the Husky band. And I know that the women's basketball program has always appreciated greatly what the band has, has meant for our support and, and enthusiasm at our games. I don't think there's a better tradition in the country than, than our band playing Hey Baby right before the games. Uh, it just always makes us have chills up and down our spine. I just thought they should have a, a national Bill Bissell Day, not, not so much to honor Bill, but to warn others about Bill. Um, but we do want to thank you, and you guys are the greatest. Thanks. Okay, this is for after the Chris Gobrecht interview.
He's out. Okay, edit this uh, photograph in. There was a little glitch on the tape that you saw right before, so edit. Woodland Park Zoo's tropical rainforest exhibit reopened today with some exotic new attractions. Animals. <laughs> What a privilege it is for me to say thank you to the great Husky Band and to you, Bill. You know, Bill, when I came here from USC, Art Bartner told me to watch out for you. You were pretty wild. Well, you're a little wild, but you're wonderfully wild. And I will tell you, this band and the contribution the band makes to the University of Washington athletic program, the university in general, the city of Seattle, and the state of Washington is immeasurable. So, Bill, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, wish the band the best, and we're all looking 
toward the Rose Bowl. <laughs> Speaking of the Rose Bowl, the upperclassmen know what to expect. They're ready and geared up towards the Rose Bowl. First timers are warned that they had better be in shape. For the second consecutive year, it's the Huskies and the Wolverines in Pasadena. But I'll bet that you cannot name one single player off of either side. Oh, I'll never get bored of being at a Rose Bowl. This is a fantastic opportunity for us to go and, and show what we do in Southern California and uh, in front of a large television audience. So this will be an exciting time again. And no, none of us ever get bored of the Rose Bowl. I, all year, we've just been gearing toward this game after game, rooting on the team, you know, playing to the best of our ability just to try and keep the crowd in the game and support the team. And this is, this is the ending point, and we want to do well. Nathan Carlson, Bill Liley. No, not walk-ons, members of another Husky team traveling to Pasadena, the Husky Marching Band. Just as the football team prepares for the Rose Bowl, so too does the band. Well, it's uh, going again, uh, you know, the sixth Rose Bowl. I feel a little like Zsa Zsa Gabor's seventh husband, or however many she's had. Uh, I know what needs to be done. I just don't know how to do it different or more exciting than what's happened before. The arrival in Pasadena on December 29th marks the beginning of an exciting, if not exhausting, couple of days. The capper, of course, is New Year's Day with the Rose Bowl game and parade. The band members will be up by 3 a.m. and begin marching by 8.30. The hike, uh, I mean parade route, is six and a half miles long. That's not too bad if you play a flute, but Bill Wiley, the freshman, plays the tuba. I've been working out a little, <laughs> doing some Stairmaster and pretty much trying to prepare myself for six and a half miles of marching and playing, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the first time I went down there, uh, I didn't quite know what to expect, and as a tuba player in the, uh, in the uh, Rose Bowl Parade, I wasn't quite sure where I was along the parade route. About 500 yards before the end of the parade, I saw a, a little girl sitting on a corner with a sign, and her daddy was holding her, and they were both smiling at me, and the sign said, you're halfway there. And by this time in the parade, my tuba was getting heavier and heavier, uh, my shoes were all scuffed up, my lips were, were parched, and my throat was dry, and I didn't want to see that sign at that particular time. After the parade, it's on to the stadium, performing in front of over 100,000 people and a national TV audience. Both bands, Michigan's and Washington's, will be vying to capture the attention of spectators. With 235 musicians, the Michigan band is well-respected, well-drilled, and very impressive. They're, they'll be much bigger than we are on the field. They'll probably play better and uh, maybe march better. Uh, uh, I don't know that they'll entertain any better than my kids. My kids are hams, and you put them in front of people, they turn on and do their thing, and typically of the previous Rose Bowls, our fans really come alive and support us. That's a nice look. <laughs> look at this. That's a nice look. Oh, remember, you're, you're, you're responsible now. Right. Our flight time to Burbank will be approximately 2 hours and 26 minutes. <laughs> You're traveling on a McDonnell Douglas MD-80 today. We have eight emergency exits. We have two cabin doors located all the way forward, one on each side, one cabin door aft in the galley on the left-hand side. All three of these entry doors are equipped with emergency slides. There are four pulling window exits at rows 21 and 22. Two fast and female subjects of the flight. Jerk to inflate. Any final thoughts, Mr. Limfiasso? If there is something that causes the oxygen mass to come down, small children are toast. I'm not helping them. Good, you can hand this to.
Matsu Limpiaco, you just directed the Husky Band at Disneyland. How do you feel? I'm going to rehearsal! Unless you make a mistake, then I'll shoot you. I have some blanks in here, and I have some real ones in my pocket. <laughs> if you frig up, you better lay close to the ground. Yeah. Free game, let's go. <laughs> You haven't really heard this yet. Go ahead. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here for your Rose Bowl pregame entertainment is the University of Washington Husky Marching Band. Here. Here. Okay. Here. <laughs>
Rusty Band continues with a circle drill to Pinball Park.
This has been a Husky Band presentation under the direction of Bill Russell and Assistant Director Marcelo Lopiano. Assisted by Don Sable and Murray Peterson, the Cheers Crop choreographer is Dara Blackman, drum majors from Lauren Halverson and Stuart Kopelski, the tourer is Kevin Powell, your announcer plays the drums.